When an animal dies, that's a problem for them. But when a species becomes extinct, that's a problem for the entire world. Right behind me are literally millions of shrimp down in the mud. And out of these shrimp, thousands and thousands of them are infected by a blood-sucking parasite known as Orthion griffinus. Today's video is gonna be a lot of work, but it's also gonna be a lot of fun. We're doing a study to find out the ratio of how many shrimp have parasites versus shrimp without parasites. So we're gonna be out here slurping in the mud, collecting the shrimp, removing the parasites, and you guys get to be a part of that. But before we get started, I wanna give a huge shout out to our sponsors over at Manscaped for helping to make this research video possible. All right, listen up. This is an important pubic service announcement. Manscaped provides the best in men's to below the waist grooming and hygiene products. Made from only the best products and ingredients for the modern man, Manscaped is forever changing the grooming game with their Perfect Package 3.0 Essentials Kit. The perfect tools for your family jewels. The Perfect Package 3.0 kit comes with the new and improved Lawnmower 3.0 water resistant cordless body trimmer and a ton of other liquid formulations to round out your manscaping routine. This third generation trimmer features a cutting edge ceramic blade to prevent manscaping accidents. When you purchase the new Perfect Package 3.0 kit at manscaped.com, you get the biggest bang for your buck. Get 20% off plus free shipping with promo code JakePNW at manscaped.com. Your balls will thank you. Let's get started. All right, we're gonna be slurping up the shrimp with this shrimp pump right here. Putting the shrimp in this bucket, the parasites into the smaller container, and then we're gonna begin helping the shrimp. Also, if you have any questions about the shrimp or these parasites that aren't answered in this video in particular, then click up here and watch our previous videos. Greta the shrimp hound. So we slurped for probably two or three minutes and already found a shrimp. And the very first shrimp we found, parasite. So I'm curious to see how many of these shrimp that we pull up today are gonna have them. I think there's gonna be more shrimps with parasites than there are shrimps that are free from parasites, but we'll find out. So far we're off to a really good start. We've already found one, two, three, four shrimp. Yeah, I'd say we're off to a good start. Let's keep looking. Check out the seaweed right here. It's like angel hair pasta. they get too far down. Yeah, baby. Two more shrimpy doodles. Oh gosh, look at all of them. It's beautiful. So I want to make it clear that these shrimp are not the kind of shrimp that people eat. These are estuary shrimp, mud shrimp. The kind of shrimp people eat live far out in the ocean. These little guys are mostly just used for uh, fishing bait in the area and tons of wildlife in the area depend on these shrimp for a food source. Brad, come here. Watch your step though. All right, check this out. We just found a jellyfish. Usually when I see a stranded jellyfish, I eat it back into the water. 
but this one's been dead for a long time, so we're just gonna let the tide pick it up later on. Oh, this one's gonna be interesting. Let's go put it in the bin. So we just got two more. Matt's got them. You look so cute. I like your flower, Matthew. Thanks. Go put those in the bucket, Matt. Got it. Man, that's a lot of work. It's like early in the morning and it's kind of chilly out, but I'm sweating. We've got several shrimp and I think we have enough for our study. So we're gonna go back we're gonna start removing parasites, keeping track of which ones have parasites and which ones are free from parasites. And then we'll be setting them all free, but we're gonna be collecting the parasites so we can like take a look at all of them. It's gonna be very weird. Yes, very weird, but weird is why you're watching this video. We're about to begin removing the parasites, but before we do, make sure that you guys like the video and that you're subscribed to the channel. That way you don't miss out on any future Satisfying Ocean videos. Let's go. All right, who's first? How about you? One shrimp down, tons more to go. Let's get it. Look at this little guy right here. Ah. This little fella is a different species of shrimp that lives in this area. The shrimp that we normally are looking for are called Eupogebia pugitensis, they're mud shrimp. This one is a sand shrimp known as Neotripea californiensis. Now these get parasites sometimes, but not nearly as often as the mud shrimp. So we're gonna set this little one free, it looks happy and healthy, let's get it back into the sand. Here's another mud shrimp here. This little one's name is Christina. She looks happy and healthy, so we're gonna put her back in the mud. Looks like there might be a parasite on this one. Oh yeah, see that? All right, let me see here, there's a tiny parasite. And it looks like it's just a male. So we're gonna remove that male parasite here. It's a big male, actually. Oh gosh, no, this is a... Yeah, this is two males. This is very, very interesting. Let's take a really close look at it. I think that. Cool. All right, back down here. Crack this here. I'm gonna set that one free. No parasite. Let's see here. Oh, here we go. Another shrimp free from a parasite. Again, this shrimp here, no parasite. But this one, you can definitely tell that that one down there has a big one. Let's take a look. Matt, we got some shrimps over here that need to be set free. We got another, hey, let go. No, they're holding on to each other. All right, uh, this one does not appear to have a parasite, so we are setting it free. We'll do this one here. Wait a second. Matilda? <laughs> All right, I didn't know you were gonna be here. All right, here we go. Can see the parasite still inside of the gill flap. Gonna twist it out. The male's right there on top, kind of hard to see. Oh, look at that thing, it's disgusting. Can have Matthew do some of these? Go ahead, drop it in. I don't 
don't see anything. All right, that one's free from a parasite. Go ahead and set it aside. Another one bites the dust. All right, we are working our way through this bucket. We're almost halfway through it, and so far I think most of them have had parasites. We have a bucket full of parasites so far. Ton more to go. Let's see it. All right, Brad's manhandling the shrimp right now, and it appears that this one is parasite-free. Is, is that how you like your shrimp, Brad? Yes, that is preference. Yeah. This one is parasite free. Dude, another one for team parasite free. Go ahead and set them free then. Last one. Parasite free. No parasites for this bad boy. So as we finished up removing parasites, we totaled all the numbers together and we learned that just under half of all of the shrimp had parasites. All right, so we got our container of parasites. We're gonna be putting them into the compost bin. Hopefully they can become some sort of healthy soil, grow an awesome plant. Probably not, but we're just gonna put them in anyways. <laughs> thanks for watching. Seriously, thanks for watching. As some of you might not know, a portion of all of our ad revenue goes towards ocean conservation. So just you guys watching our videos is helping out a ton. Also, be sure to stay tuned for the next episode we drop here on YouTube where we're gonna explain to you how you're eating worms and how you can avoid it.